What's going on YouTube? It's Jesse coming back to you with another video and in this video I'm gonna be showing you why you should not start an e-commerce business. If you're new to the channel Make sure to go get in the Facebook group below where we talk about all things funnels, selling low ticket and high ticket programs, email copywriting for clients if you have nothing to sell, and inbound closing if you just want to sell someone else's high ticket programs, and you only need one client if you go that business route. So why shouldn't you start an e-commerce business? Number one, low margins. Talk to any guy that's doing e-commerce. I've sold tens of thousands of dollars worth of goods on eBay, Amazon, and the margins are just not there. If you do high ticket dropshipping, you can get by with that, but I'll get into why that's a pain in the ass later in this video. The amount of customer service conversations I've had in business, especially selling on eBay, for a $5 profit margin, it was absolutely stupid. I had to handle like four different VAs, make sure they're working hard every day so that I can actually make money, countless hours of research, sourcing, countless hours of fulfillment, customer service management. It's a complete nightmare. Way too many moving pieces for a beginner. Now, if you're advanced, if you're already making a shitload of money and you're just chilling and you're just bored as fuck because you're just making money on your other business ventures, then yeah, I'd recommend you start dabbling into e-commerce um, because it is, it can turn into a passive machine, but it's extremely difficult for beginners. E-commerce and trading are businesses that you could do when you've made it. But before you've made it, you should be concentrating on things like client work where you're getting paid a thousand two thousand three thousand ten thousand dollars a month do some sort of task for that business whether it's a coach a course seller a digital marketing agency service provider a consulting firm it's way easier to bag one to three clients than it is to make hundreds and thousands of sales a month and have everything not go to shit when you start getting bad reviews or whatever happens in your business i was guilty of it and i don't recommend you make that same starting point Number two, physical products. You have to either, one, drop ship the products, which you're always wondering if your supplier is gonna have the product when your customer orders. So you hope to God when the customer orders, your supplier has it. If you're new to drop shipping, then you'd make the purchase from the, the supplier and ship it directly to the customer's address. You have to box the shit up if you're doing Amazon FBA, especially when you're starting out. Later on, you can use a prep center, but when you're starting off Amazon FBA, you gotta box shit up, tape it up, maybe even go to like Walmart or Target or whatever the wherever you're getting your inventory from, and box it up, garage sales and shit, just a big pain in the ass. And the third reason you shouldn't start an e-commerce business is the shipping. See, when you're selling digital goods, which is what I recommend every day on this whole channel, it's about digital services. Either you're providing a service to a client or you're selling a course or a coaching program. It's instantaneous delivery. It's all on the internet. If it's a course, they get the email notification that they have their login details. If it's a service, you get paid by Stripe, and you start fulfilling the service online. It's instantaneous, there's no shipping. With e-commerce, you gotta get the product to the customer, whether you're delivering it yourself or your supplier is doing it. That can range anywhere from a couple days, but sometimes what happens is it takes way longer, especially during that's what happened. And your customers just get pissed off. They don't care you put on the, the label that's gonna get to you in a week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever. They'll still complain if you're doing it from China. Customers nowadays expect you to over deliver and get it to them faster than they even signed up for. So you're over here sweating, hoping that what you put on the listing when they bought it actually is the right time. They already assume you're gonna get it to them earlier. And a lot of the times it gets there late, later than you actually put on the posting. And boom, you wake up. I've had countless mornings where my heart just sank. I'd get up, I'd have a pissed off customer sent me a DM over Amazon or eBay asking where the hell is their product and that they're gonna give me a bad review if I don't hurry the fuck up. This is why e-commerce is not a good business. And another thing I would throw in on the back end of all this is it's almost impossible to get profitable if you're doing paid traffic, which a lot of people fall into that problem as well. That's not one of the three, but that's a really big problem too. Like they'll start a Shopify store, go run Facebook ads, Facebook ad account gets banned. Or they're spending a ton of money on every single individual click. If you're if you're gonna do it e-commerce, at least have some sort of free traffic method like eBay or Amazon or Walmart. I know Walmart's hot right now. Bonanza, Etsy. But anyway, hope you found massive value in this video. Make sure to check the links in my description for the various methods I use to make money online. Again, make sure to join the free Facebook group. Subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. Peace.